what a cool fish. After the accident it was very uncertain if I was able to fish this spring at all. Yet here I am in Sweden. With a strong wheel to go and amazing friends that helped me out, spring fishing on the big lake was back on the menu. Good morning everyone, we are out on the big lake. It is really calm and sunny today, so we're gonna target a pike with a variety of baits on a variety of spots. Hopefully we can find them shallow, on the stones maybe, maybe inside of the base, although conditions like these, not really promising for bay fishing. So we'll start outside, and today the weather forecast predicts, you never know for sure, the wind is gonna pick up a little in the afternoon. Hopefully that will kick things in motion inside the base. Um, we're gonna try out the new shads from Söder. We got some wingman curlies, but also we got some scout shed curlies, some new scout sheds, softer material, and also the 23 centimeter version of the scout shed. Gonna make some couple of casts on the rocks, and then we're gonna slowly move our way through the lake, which is a big one, so we're not gonna cover the entire lake today. But we're gonna cover a lot of spots, see if we can find the pattern, because that's always the thing with pike fishing, you need to find the pattern. Well, it has been a bit of a struggle today. Um, it was a big storm yesterday and uh, really hard to find the fish at the moment. So, we're trying on some new locations, trying to find some new spots. And we saw a nice drop off where the, uh, the island goes into the water gradually and saw some rocks up ahead as well. We just thought, just let's just give it a go. I got a decent fish on the curly. Really good looking fish, by the way. Not super long or super thick, but the pattern on the bag is just into that with some beaker case. Nice. <laughs> that is a... <laughs> Big thanks to the guys from Elite nice. Boats for offering to test their boat during this spring season. It is a beast to ride through this horrible weather. I am definitely impressed. Pre-spawners, that's what we're fishing for.
it's, you escape the wind a bit because it's just too gnarly out there to fish. So we tried a uh, shallow bay. Not much going on until we went until the end of the bay. And on the deviator. Super, super nice. Jesper and I were just discussing about if we ever had caught a, uh, a meter plus pike in this bay and so far only small fish. And then this fish hit the deviator. Super nice. God, what a cool fish. Let's get him back. It has been a while since I was able to fish with my buddy Roy van Streels, who is not only talented in creating amazing content, but also a really skilled pike angler. We finally got the chance to fish again, and the result was seven fish that crossed the meter mark in one day. It was such a sick day. I was lifting the eel like from the deep. You know that last final moment when your bait starts to rise up when you're fishing really deep? And I just came up vertically and just inhaled the eel. Oude strijder. No teeth on this side anymore. Like the back behind, but this is this is Oh no, I think that's an 105. 107. Nice. There's another one swimming around. Yes, we had a big follower. Oh. Let's go. Let's kijken hoe dit je hart is. Kijk zal even kijken, misschien kijken. Ah, hij is ook wel goed. Ja, dat is het. Paar. Ja, naar buiten. Het is uh, medicine nummer 4, niet? Echt ook. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys and most of all thank you for your patience, it means a lot. There will be more content dropping soon on this channel but also on this Savage channel and the Surda channel. As always don't forget our member perks and all the gear that is used is available at sportfishtackle.com. Enjoy these wonderful spring weeks. See you soon.